hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to do another unboxing of imported succulents as well as i am going to show you how i drill holes into my pots and let's discuss the importance of having proper drainage holes into our pots so stick around <music> Seller. and I'm so excited to open this one right now we will be unboxing another set of stress relievers so this package contains five imported succulents so let's open it up Can you hear that sound? It's like we are doing an ASMR video. Well protected package, hey? Like it. So which one do I start? I'll start with this one here. So this is Ichiviria Rainbow Candy. Mm, candy, love it. So I got this one for $21.75. How many heads do I have in here? Nice. What's next? This one here, single head Ichiviria. So this one is called Ichiviria Da Vinci Code. Nice name. I got it for $19.25. It's a little bit stretchy for not having sun exposure due to transit, but it's okay. This one is the one that I'm excited about. This is called Graptoviria Fred Ives. Very gata. This is the most expensive one from the group, which I got $29 so let's get one of the clusters here so this one is called Ichiviria Silk Veil nice cluster it's huge I got this one for $21.75 a little bit stretchy again but it's fine in time they will go back to their nice colors so last item on the batch is this Ichiviria Rolly ooh nice one I love it I might need to split this one into two because I don't have a big pot for it right now I got this one for $23. I think the diameter for this cluster is more or less 6 inches. Huge! Shout out to Gloria! So have another look at the plants that I got today. So if you are wanting to order or pre-order this kind of succulents and other imported succulents, I am going to put the link to the description of this video. to drill holes into our pots as well and in this case these are vintage teapots that I got from a collector at Facebook marketplace I got here a bowl of water which will serve as our coolant or lubricant my drill 
and my 1 fourth inch wet dry diamond drill bit which I got at uh, Home Depot for um, around $18. So let's start drilling my cute little teapots which I scored from Facebook Marketplace. I got this one really really cheap and it will look really nice with our sacking. So this first one is a little bit tough. Okay, come on. There you go. One down. More to go. So that's how it looks. So let's discuss the importance of having so the drainage hole is essential to our plant health. Why essential? Because when our pots doesn't have any holes, it will be prone to becoming overwatered. The surface will only appear to be dry, but the bottom of the pot will be soaking wet. That water clogged soil can lead to root rot, which easily kills our plants. So, another importance of having drainage holes in pots is that it prevents salt buildup in the soil. The fertilizers and the tap water that we use to our plants contain salt that is harmful to our plants so when we water thoroughly the water will flow into the hole and the salt will be flushed out so i am going to drill two holes onto this one because this is kind of big see done did I mention the reason of using water while we are drilling? The water will serve as lubricant or coolant, which prevents having pressure build up to the pots. And the pots won't crack. Also, I am using a mat or any piece of cloth or something that prevents the pot from when we are drilling also it will protect our floor surfaces this is quite a tough job the ducky is done so cute So this one is ceramic made in Japan. Wow, imported. This one is kind of thick. It's hard to drill on it. You have to have a good angle. Watching everyone, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.